Hi everyone. I um, wanted to make a series of videos about the torpedo triangle. So I see some misconceptions uh, in the community regarding uh, what exactly the uh, math is behind the act of shooting a torpedo, uh, what the individual angles are, what the pieces are. Uh, in a lot of cases you've got uh, situations where people might be um, missing uh, and not understanding why and so uh, I think it's important to have uh, the concepts down as far as being able to break this down relatively simplistically at first and then uh, move into the more nuanced uh, situations um, that you might encounter but to take a step back really it's important to understand the triangle in its simplest form so that if you are missing shots uh, you can you can readily diagnose possibly why that's the case and uh, it's also important to to understand what you can possibly cut out um, and not spend your time on in an approach uh, prior to shooting there's some data that you might not even need to obtain uh, just because mathematically it doesn't doesn't make any difference one uh, whatsoever uh, depending on what angle you're shooting at okay so this also can serve as a time saver uh, and it also is more along the lines of sort of teaching a man to fish. Um, and so uh, you could reap the benefits of that uh, um, for the rest of your time playing a wolf pack or any other uh, U-boat sim or sub sim in general. So teach a man to fish. So the torpedo triangle, uh, this, this image, and I will use images from uh, tvre.org, the, um, the, the German TDC, what we call the TDC, uh, was really known as the, in German it's Torpedo Vorhaltrechner, which basically means Torpedo Lead Angle Calculator. Um, some of us like to refer to it as TVRE, uh, that's the abbrevi historical abbreviation for it, but uh, suffice it to say, this, this site here, tvre.org, is a very good resource. Um, I owe all of my knowledge uh, about the TDC and other aspects of the uh, German's fire control system to this site, so I would suggest you spend some time with it just to get comfortable with uh, maybe with the concepts that we go over in these videos. So we're going to start this first video off, uh, and, and, and this first video is called Range When Range Does Not Matter, okay? Uh, range does not matter in most cases. Let's just put this to rest right now. So I see a lot of people spending a lot of time on range finding. Uh, range if you're shooting at a zero gyre angle, meaning your torpedo will not turn when it leaves the tube, range does not matter unless you're very close. And we can go, we'll go over that in later videos. But for this first video, let's assume that we live in some bizarro world and you're basically able to shoot torpedoes out of your periscope, right? So let's just, just bear with me and let's just assume that's the case, okay? Where you are viewing <clears throat> the target ship is the same spot on the boat where your torpedoes will leave the boat. All right, so let's let's take a look at the torpedo triangle under that assumption. So what we've got here is your boat down here. Okay, you can see the torpedo. This would be the torpedo track right here. Uh, this is the target. This is the target's course. Okay, so the, the angles, the triangle is as follows. You've got VT, which is torpedo speed. That's vector one. Okay, that's the, the torpedo vector. This is a ve this is vector analysis. Okay, this is the torpedo speed and course. All right, angle beta is the lead angle. Right, target is here. This is the impact point right here. Therefore, this is my lead angle here. Okay, gamma, which is here, is the angle on bow. Right at the point at the moment of the shot. That's your angle on bow, gamma. The target vector here, represented by VG, VG is speed. That's the German abbreviation for, for uh, speed in terms of the torpedo triangle. This vector represents target course and speed. Okay, gamma is angle on bow. Uh, beta is the lead angle. Alpha is the impact angle. There's been some confusion about what the impact angle actually is. It is um, it is this angle here, okay, and this angle here is what this dial is showing. So sometimes it looks like maybe this is reversed or something like that. It's because this 
uh, it's taking it's taking the complement of the angle that you would expect it to take. A lot of people think it's going to be this angle right here that's described by my cursor there. It's not. It's actually the complement of it, which is this. The the uh, German TDC or TVRE worked in the principle of the torpedo triangle and inside the torpedo triangle, not outside of it. All right. So that alpha angle is your impact angle. All right, so these are the three main angles that you need to be concerned about uh, high level. So the, the calculation for this lead angle, this is the most important part, is the lead angle, obviously, right? We need to know um, how much to lead the target, just like if you were shooting trap or hunting or whatever. You need to know how, by how much do I need to lead the target in order to, for the torpedo to coincide with the target in the same spot. This is important. So the, the formula for this, and you'll notice that range is missing from this formula because it, it, it's not a factor in the equation. The lead angle equals the target speed times the sine of the angle on bow divided by torpedo speed. Okay, so this, well, one more step. Uh, inverse sine, so arc sine of this. Okay. Arc sine is also known on your calculator as sine minus one. Okay, um, so the arc sine of this here, right? So this will give you the lead angle. Now notice that range is not in here. It's not a it's not a factor in this uh, in this in this equation here, right? Range does not matter when you are shooting your torpedo out of your periscope. Alternatively, since that's obviously not the case in reality, range will not matter when you are shooting your torpedo at a what's known as a zero gyro angle. Now, the gyro angle, which is represented by this dial, these two dials here, is a little different than the lead angle, right? Lead angle is just, if you think about it purely in terms of your torpedo is leaving the boat at the same place that you're viewing it from, okay? That would be the lead angle. The gyro angle is the actual angle that the torpedo needs to turn after it leaves the tube. This is co complicated, of course, by the fact that you you know your tubes are twenty some odd meters in front of where your optics are. Okay, so we'll get to that in later videos. But just know that the gyro angle is not synonymous with the lead angle. It is only synonymous with the lead angle if you are shooting at a zero gyro angle, meaning your torpedo will not turn after it leaves the tube. Okay, so like in this case right here. Let's say our boat is back here. Uh, this torpedo is not expected to turn. This is a zero gyro angle shot. Range is not a function, a factor here. Now to show that, I'm going to use the MOBO app. Okay, this is an electronic maneuvering board app that uh, was created many, many moons ago by somebody on Subsim, much smarter than myself. Uh, let's use a, a simple example here. This is this is a uh, uh, this is our boat, or this is the torpedo, rather, down here. The torpedo's course will be zero degrees. It's it, traveling at 30 knots. Okay, we've got a target whose course is 128 degrees, the speed of which is 8 knots. Okay, the bearing is 350. Now, just back of the envelope here, let's just compute its um, the lead angle. If we're expecting to, remember, we're shooting the, the torpedo out of our periscope. Okay, so uh, the torpedo will leave the top of the periscope. It will not... There, you're just sim very simplistic, okay? Um, you've got <clears throat> an angle on bow of gamma, which is here, okay? Now we can compute that, but or we can also measure it using this app. But let's just compute it, right? So we've got the bearing is um, the bearing is three five zero, okay? So the reciprocal of that is one seventy minus one twenty eight. The angle on bow is 42. Okay, we take the sine of that times 8 knots is the target speed divided by 30. All right, now we take the inverse sine of that, arc sine, that gives us 10 degrees. Now you can see, yes, that is indeed our lead angle, 10 degrees. 350 minus 0, 360 is 10. So this is a zero gyro angle shot, so I've set it up. Okay, now what I've done is I have enabled um, the time speed distance functionality in this app <clears throat> that shows how long it will take the torpedo to run uh, to get to a certain point. Same thing with the target. Okay, so you can see that uh, 
the t the time that it's going to take this target to to get this distance is five minutes and fifty three seconds, and you can see that the time it's going to take the torpedo to get to that exact same spot is five minutes and fifty two seconds, essentially the same amount of time, right? So to show you that range doesn't matter, even even at a fa not at fast ninety at any possible um, angle on bow, not just, or any impact angle, not just 90 degrees, we need to put that finally to rest, okay? I'm going to change the range, okay? I'm not going to change the bearing, that's important. I'm going to change the range to something else. Let's just cut it down here, like this, okay? And I'm going to change the, um, I'm going to change the, uh, the try the course is the same, okay? Whoops. The course is the same. One two eight. Uh, let's see here. One two. Okay, one two eight. There it is. Okay, time speed distance. All right. Let's do this here, and then I want to. I'm going to put this right back on here. Okay, you can see it right there. So now I'm looking at three minutes and fifty-four seconds. Okay, let's see what the uh, what this is going to give. Okay, there it is. Three minutes and fifty-four seconds. Okay, so three minutes fifty-four seconds. So so here you go. The triangle just shrinks or grows. It doesn't change the answer. The bearing is the same, whether you're at 4,000 meters or whether at 6,000 meters where we were before. The bearing doesn't change, therefore the lead angle doesn't change. Okay, The target speed doesn't change either. The, the speed of the a speed across the line of sight, which which is a fancy way of, of, of saying uh, this right here, target speed times the sine of angle on bow gives you the speed across um, across the line of sight. Okay, stays the same. So therefore, it doesn't matter how big this triangle is, as long as these angles stay the same, okay, range doesn't matter anymore, all right? If long, as long as you have a zero gyro angle, like just like this, the size of the triangle will grow or shrink. However, the relative angles are the same, therefore, range doesn't make a difference, all right? Now, for practical purposes, all right, it doesn't have to be spot on zero. It can be, um, it can be slightly off here and there. And when I when we launch another video here, I'll actually be in Wolfpack and I'll show you uh, what I mean by that by playing around with the TDC dials. All right, showing you what's going on there. So, so this is what the TDC is doing. Assuming you have a zero gyro angle shot, meaning these two dials here are pointing exactly. Let's just assume as exactly to zero. At that point, okay, you are shooting a torpedo that's going exactly straight. Range does not matter um, as long as your range is far enough away. Uh, your range, your your um, uh, the, it will the solution won't factor range in at all. The reason why it would be different closer is because now you're introducing the the lateral separation, the error be, called parallax, which is the lateral separation between um, the point at which you're viewing, so the optics and the torpedo tube. We'll get to that in the next video, but again, suffice it to say, simplistically, um, range will not matter at zero, at a zero gyro angle such as this, okay, which is what we've demonstrated here. So that's, that's the torpedo triangle uh, in its simplest form. Again, beta, lead angle, alpha, impact angle, okay, that's your dial here, obviously, Gamma is here, which is the angle on bow. Beta is not on here, right? Beta is is things get a little more complicated with the TDC than just a simple beta, which is why we said at the beginning, let's just assume we're shooting it out of our periscope, okay? So beta is only valid for a zero gyro angle shot. That's your lead angle, okay? And to compute that, if you if you want to compute it, which is very easy to compute with a calculator, you simply just say uh, the, it's the arc sine or sine minus one of the target speed times the sine of the angle on bow at which you want to shoot divided by the torpedo speed, okay? You can simply do that if you want to do no, no TDC shooting and you know what angle on bow you want to shoot at. You can pre-compute it ahead of time. 
and then just make sure you're at that angle on bow at the time you shoot. Make sure your um, your boat is lined up appropriately such that the bearing will be the lead angle and pull the trigger. Simple as that. Okay. So that'll be it for the first video. That's the torpedo triangle in a nutshell. Um, let me know if you have any questions on that. Next video or two will cover situations where um, where this is not a zero gyro angle, where you've got <clears throat> where your optics are pointing in a different direction, um, and your torpedo needs to turn. So there's some complexities that surround that. So that'll be that'll be to come.